Thank you, Bruce. As Mother's Day is approaching, ladies, it is time to uh, put yourself first and focus on your health. In 2012, new guidelines were released that recommended less frequent pap smears, changing from annually to every three to five years. Now local doctors are encouraging women to visit their gynecologist less, resulting in more progressed findings when patients are coming in for their visits. Joining me now is Dr. Jade Pizarro. She's an OBGYN with Orange Park Medical Center. And I want to make sure that we're clear here with this. Um, we're reminding people because it's Mother's Day, and I think that women in general tend to, as we've seen uh, statistically, tend to be um, less good at taking care of themselves because they're so worried about taking care of maybe their children and their husbands. And it's important that they get their annual exam. Absolutely, absolutely. Mothers in general always put someone else first. That's one of the things that happens Just what very we do. early on. Exactly. <laughs> um, and we need to really take this point to prioritize ourselves and decide that we are important first. It's we, we tell people it's like the oxygen on the airplane. You can't help other people if you don't help yourself. So. You do need to put yourself first for your health. Well, and it's interesting, too, because I think that women get a little confused because we've heard with passengers three to five years or every year if you've had a problem before, but there is so much more to the exam than just the pap smear itself. Absolutely. People think that if they go for their annual that they're getting a pap. And sometimes you'll go to your annual exam and you're not getting a pap. That should be a discussion with your doctor whether I need a pap, whether I don't need a pap, but you do still need to have an evaluation by a physician. Sometimes primary care doctors are comfortable doing the well woman exams, even including a pelvic exam. And sometimes they want you to go to your gynecologist, but someone should be laying eyes and hands on you once a year. And so what kinds of things then are important for them to have other than the pap smear as an example? Sure, so starting kind of head to toe, vital signs are always vital. So checking your blood pressure, checking your weight, discussing weight changes that have happened through the years, whether it's from lifestyle changes, going away to college, having a baby, coming back from a baby, perimenopausal or, men or menopausal changes. Then again, with the blood pressure and things like that, um, a vision exam is sometimes necessary. Breast exam should be done annually after about 20 is, usually, is kind of the consensus at this point. Um, a pelvic exam, whether it's an internal exam, an external exam, feeling, looking, touching, things like that. And then kind of going down lymph nodes, normal gait, things like that. Yeah, I think that perhaps that um, women only remember the pap smear portion of that exam and tend to forget the other things that are arguably just as important that's conducted during this annual exam and not just when you're going to the doctor because you maybe have some kind of an issue. Right. Is there an age that you tell your patients, you know, hey, you need to start having the annual exam at such and such age? And then sh do you ever get to a point where based on your age that you don't need to go for one? Sure. So the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists recommend establishing care with an OBGYN at between 13 and 15, close to menarche. Most mothers, you say that, and they have a heart attack on the on the table. Oh They're no, like, birth what? control and all these other things. My thirteen-year-old yes. to the yeah. gynecologist. That does not mean that a thirteen-year-old needs to have a pelvic exam or a pap smear for certain. What it does mean is that girls become more comfortable with a physician mm -hmm. as they progress through the ages and establishing that care, having an open line of communication before they're sexually active, before they have problems with their period, before they get exposed to HPV, being able to vaccinate them to HPV, all of those things become easier when they're comfortable with someone. They have another person to talk to that's not their friends or their boyfriend or whoever yeah, else or is their mother, them. Or their mother <laughs> right, who they may not right. feel comfortable for whatever and reason what or a tell. father who's raising them. Exactly, and that's what I tell women. My, my patients will come in and be like, when should I bring my daughter? And I'll tell them, well, have them come and establish care with me. That way, if they have a question that they're not comfortable asking you, they can ask me. And you know that I'm not going to give them some crazy off-the-wall answer that's like they not would healthy. Typically here among their friends, right. right? And then is there an age, you know, too old sure. of an age? So a lot of women feel like once they're done having babies, they don't no. need to go to the gynecologist anymore. And that's obviously not true. Cervical cancer starts to increase as well as uterine and ovarian cancer. So those are all things that we at least attempt to screen for with those exams as well. Um, 65 is mm. when some recommending agencies tell us to stop doing pap smears, but mm. you can still get vulvar cancer after you've had a hysterectomy. You can still get vaginal cancer after you have a hysterectomy, mm. well into your 80s and 90s. So someone needs to be looking and feeling, whether it's your primary care doctor, your gynecologist, and on a yearly basis. And it's just important to also have that conversation. 
Exactly. You know, don't don't arbitrarily make the decision on your own. Actually, get consult a yeah, physician before like you that. say, yeah, I don't <laughs> want to do it. It's uncomfortable. I'm just not going to do it. Thank you very much, Doc, for oh, being no here. Problem. Do appreciate it's important information, particularly as so many of you will begin to celebrate Mother's Day. You have to think about yourselves.